Arthur's Halloween. It was the night before Halloween. Arthur's family was busy making the house look spooky. It looked so spooky, in fact, that Arthur had trouble falling asleep. Things were even worse the next morning. Help! screamed Arthur when he opened his eyes. It's just me, said his sister D.W. Boy, are you jumping. Don't forget, you have to take me trick-or-treating tonight. Do I really have to, said Arthur as he ate his cereal. You do really. You really do, said his mother. And I want to go to every house, said D.W. Arthur groaned. I'll be the only one who has to drag his baby sister along. Arthur didn't recognize anyone at school. There was a giant robot in his classroom, taking attendance. You sound just like my teacher, said Mr. Marco, said T Arthur. I am your teacher, said the robot. The only one Arthur recognized was the brain. He was wrapped in aluminum foil. I'm a big potato, said the brain. Frances passed out special morning snacks. Eat these, she said. They're bat-winged brownies and vampire blood. Everyone ate them but Arthur. Then they all put on blindfolds. Buster passed around bowls, and he said, I show with human eyeballs, hearts, and brains. Arthur turned pale. When it was his turn, he wouldn't even touch them. What a scaredy cat, said Francis. Chicken, said Muffy. They're only people, only, they're only peeled grapes, jello, and cold spaghetti. When it came time to go trick-or-treating, Buster knew which house to skip. Don't go there, he said. They only give apples. Gross, said Francis. And don't go to the big house on the corner, said Buster. That's the witch's house. My brother saw someone go in there last Halloween and never came out. Arthur tried not to look afraid. Arthur and his sister had trouble keeping up with the others. First, he did got her tail caught with her bag broke. You're such a pain in the neck, said Arthur. T.W. must be sort of dimwit, but T.W. didn't answer. Arthur turned around and just, just in time to see her disappear into the witch's house. Arthur's hand turned ice cold as his heart began to race. He walked up to the spooky house, and in front door was open just a creek. Slowly, Arthur went inside. Look, cried Buster. Arthur just went into the witch's house. She probably... Put Arthur and D.W. into her oven, just like Hansel and Gretel, said Sue Ellen. Maybe she's using them for weird scientific experiments, said the brain. I bet she locked them in the cellar to starve, said Buster. Maybe we should follow him, said Francis. Maybe we should call the police, said Muffy. Everyone was too scared to move. Inside the house, it was very cold. Arthur thought he was... He saw a ghost all around him. He walked down a long hall. At the end, saw a light under the door. He heard voices. Oh, one was his sister's. Oh, there you are, said the witch. We were waiting for you. I came to get my sister. We have to go. I hear my color calling us, said Arthur. I don't hear anything, said D.W. My name is Mrs. Tibble. I hope you won't leave without some cider and donuts first. They're chocolate, your favorite, said D.W. I've waited all night for trick-or-treating. Cheaters, but you're the only one, said Miss Tibbles. Years ago, our doorbell never stopped ringing. Maybe it's broken like the window, said G.W. Mrs. Tibble nodded. It is harder for me to keep up with this big place these days. Maybe if we help you fix up your yard, the place won't look so spooky, said Arthur. Arthur finished his donuts as Mrs. Tibble opened the door and turned on the front porch. Light. She gave Arthur and D.W. a big hug. See you Saturday to rake leaves, said Arthur. You're still alive, said Francis. You're still alive, said Francis. I can't believe you went in there alone, said the brain. You're so brave, said Sue Ellen. What's in the bag, asked Buster. Probably eyeballs, hearts, and brains, said Francis. It's, I, it's easy to find out, said Arthur. Just close your eyes and reach in unless you're too scared. We've been to every house now. Can we take the shortcut home to the cemetery, asked D.W.? The cemetery on Halloween? Are you crazy, asked Francis. Follow me, said Arthur. Arthur, said Arthur, as he marched ahead. The cemetery is a great place. People are just dying to get in.